back to my channel. I will be doing this red lipstick um, slash night out, I guess. You can wear it during the day. I would so wear it during the day. But you guys asked for a night out lips, um, look with red lipstick. I could have gone um, darker on the eyes, maybe used a little black. But I didn't want to look a little too crazy. I mean, I don't mind, but I don't want you guys to think it was too much. So I did this look. I also did the blue eyelid look, but I recorded that on my camera and I didn't have a way, um, I couldn't find a way to transfer it to my, um, to my phone so I can edit it or to my laptop. I mean, anyway, um, I ordered a cable where I can actually transfer the videos out of my camera. So I'm waiting on that. But meanwhile, I'm recording this. I hope you guys enjoy. If you're interested on knowing how to uh, get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started by concealing our eyelids with the concealer. Um, we're gonna be using the Photo Focus Concealer Corrector in the shade Light Beige. We're gonna be using the Real Technique sponge to blend the... You guys have seen this process um, different times, but almost every time I use the same products, but I do change um, foundations in between because... Okay, so this look is gonna be very, very easy to create. You pretty much just need like um, neutral shades and dark brown. The star of the show today, other than red lipstick, is gonna be this eyeshadow from MAC, and it's called Brown Script. I love it. Um, and then we're using this all over the lid. Um, I'm, I might be using a darker brown in the center of the lid. So, so we're gonna be using the 3502 palette again uh, so we're starting with this shade right here By the way, I posted on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see a red lip for a night or for a day. I thought of it like if you guys wanted a day look with red lipstick, it's you guys meant like a light eyeshadow look with red lipstick. But since most of you guys chose night look with red lipstick, I'm assuming you guys are looking for a darker eyeshadow look. Although I have worn... Um, dark eyeshadow looks with red lipstick before during the day and it just it doesn't look bad it's just you can wear it however you makeup makeup has a lot of options you can wear it however you want so now we're going to be using a flouter brush but also puffy but it's on the flat side to get the eyeshadow that i told you guys about the brown script um pack it in the all over the lid i'm so bad i give up <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining. You guys actually don't need this shade. I'm pretty sure a lot of the Morphe palettes have this shade. Um, but this is just my favorite. I love this shade. I'm gonna go ahead and switch brushes with the first shade I used from the Morphe palette so I can blend the top.
Okay, guys, so now I'm going to take um, this dark brown. I don't know. I like this eyeshadow for a red look, but since you guys said night... Hmm. I want to go darker. Hmm. I'm probably going to grab a little bit of the dark brown and a little bit of the black. Just tap, 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 tap. Um... Now we're going to use the same brush and the same shade, the MAC shade, to um, blend the edges. I went a little darker than I thought, but let's see how this ends. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and put on my eyelashes. The eyelashes that I'm going to be using today are the they're mink lashes. These are my favorite lashes. You can order them on AliExpress. They're super affordable. Super, super affordable. Um, and I'm using the Style D10. This is what they look like. Oh, I'll be back with you guys when I have them on. All right, so eyelashes are now on. These are pretty big. I mean, when they're sitting in the box, they don't look that big, but they are actually big. I mean, but if they're for a night out, I'm good with that. So not, next, we're gonna be using the Infatible Pro Matte Foundation from L'Oreal. Um, I'm in the shade 103. I'm gonna go ahead and dot one side and blend with my beauty blender because um, this is really matte, so it's gonna get the hairs out of my face. Um, it's gonna dry really fast. Okay, so now that we have put on the foundation, we're gonna put on um, our under eye concealer. We're gonna be using the Revolution, again, um, shade C2. I'll list everything in the description box below. I, like I told you guys, I use, pretty much use the same things. Okay, now we're gonna be using the Maybelline setting powder in the shade light, 01. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC20 to set my entire face. Okay, now we're gonna be grabbing a flatter brush. Um, to, and grab this shade from the MAC that we used on our eyelids so I can put it under my eyes. Now for our inner corners, we're gonna use the lattice shade on this palette and it's gonna be this one um, so I can put it on my inner corners. Okay, and to 
for my bottom eyelashes, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics um, Hello Lashes. We're gonna be um, bronzing with my Wet n Wild um, contour palette. You guys already know. Now I'm gonna be using this Milani powder brush in the shade Romantic Rose to add a little bit of blush. Right, and now we're gonna be adding our highlight. We're gonna be using ColourPop's um, highlight in the shade Flexitarian. All right, now that we're done with that, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna be lining my lips with my ColourPop Ultra Matte, Lip, Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Avenue. I'm just gonna line my lips with that and I'm gonna shade it in with something else. This um, Avenue shade all over the lip looks amazing, um, but that's not what we're using today. Now we're gonna use um, from ColourPop. It's called Arriba from I Love Sarai collection for ColourPop. It's amazing. This color is beautiful. It's a fire red. Now that we're done with the look, I'm gonna go ahead and um, use a setting spray. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay setting spray. Um, and also, I forgot to mention that I primed my face with uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. All right guys, so this is a completed look. This is what I came up with. Um, this is usually my to-go um makeup look when i wear red lipstick to go out or to go somewhere during the day that red lipstick i don't wear red lipstick that often because i don't know i feel weird i feel like i'm wearing too much makeup when i'm wearing red lipstick but then i do wear too much makeup i do wear a lot of makeup but that's okay um you can wear as much makeup as you want to your life i did want to talk to you guys about um I am recording on my phone because I, I tried recording with my camera. I recorded a makeup look with you guys, the blue eyeshadow. I said I was going to do that first and I did record it. My camera, for some reason, I can't transfer the videos in, onto my phone, phone. So I did order a cable that is going to help me download the video from the camera to my phone. I also, I did buy the... Uh, the the spicy noodles to make the spicy noodle challenge but i don't know i'm scared so bien medosa para la comida enchilosa por eso no sé i'm like very i'm such a i'm such a scary cat when it comes to spicy food so i don't know i i'm gonna do it i'll probably do it right now um i'm also looking forward on doing a couple videos with a friend um we want to do a collab I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm mostly active on my Instagram. I don't have Snapchat or any other social media. So, um, yeah. So this is what I came up with. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys recreate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, 
I'm doing a mukbang. I wish. What's the time frame? Mmm. I see. Well, if, if I'm you hungry. Think a more, we will help. 